iPhone 10 doesn't have MagSafe. So first thing we gotta do is tear down the iPhone. This is uh, an arduous process. If you've ever done it, it requires special tools. It's, uh, it's quite the experience, so you gotta get these uh, all these little very fine details out. Once we get the phone torn down, get the battery out, we're going to identify the wireless charging coil, which is directly underneath the battery right there. And then we're gonna center up the magnet ring over that. So this is going to line up the MagSafe charging circle. I'm gonna get it aligned properly, and we wanna make sure, double check that you have the front and the back correct. So you wanna test it with your MagSafe charger, to make sure that it clicks on there good. Okay, good. And once we're good, we can peel off the other layer and make sure the magnets are good and seated down properly. And then we wanna go ahead and use a new adhesive pad for the batteries. We're gonna remove one spot because it intersects the orientation magnets at the bottom. So once we get our battery back in, we're gonna go ahead and do the reassembly process. Um, you might end up with some missing screws. Just kidding, hopefully not. There was a couple gotchas. I noticed that the magnetic strength is pretty good with no case on the phone. It works about as well as uh, 12 would. Um, but if you use even a thin case, you're gonna have a hard time with any sort of like magnetic based phone mount. Now the charger will still work fine. The second caveat I noticed is the official MagSafe charger works pretty well for the charge rate. However, unofficial ones can drop out from time to time, which is a little odd. Um, but you know, I have one on my desk. It works nicely to hold the phone in place. I have one in my car. Uh, it holds it in place. If you hit bumps and stuff, it doesn't go flying. But otherwise, it was a successful project. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let's have a, let's have a talk about, was this worthwhile? $7 upgrade for the iPhone MagSafe feature on older iPhones, or maybe it was too risky. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, take a look in the description. I have links to all the parts you'll need to get this done. Essentially, that is the new seal for the screen. That's going to be the battery mounts and, of course, the magnets themselves. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, let me know in the comments what you think you'd like to see in the future, and thanks for stopping by.